You know what? I don't think I gave the title screen enough credit because at least it changes depending on how far you are in the game. But it's still just a static image. You're not fooling anyone. What is up everyone and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. Last episode we got our second ride Pokemon, the majestic, blumbering, lovable bear Ursa Luna and found out that the next noble Pokemon we're going to be taking on is actually in a completely different place known as the Brava Arena and that's where we're going to be heading off today. So if you guys are excited, smash that like button and let's get right into it showing off our new Ursa Luna right here. This dude is so cool. Definitely not what I expected Ursaring's new evolution to look like. I feel it's a little derpy compared to Ursaring just being an absolute unit. And what the heck is this little Budu doing? Oh, seems like there's actually an item nearby. Because if you don't know, Ursa Luna is basically like an item finder in this game. And this little circle that you see there. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe we made it up there. Uh, but it'll actually point you in the direction of where hidden items are. It seems like there's something somewhere in this direction. Ah, let's dig for treasure and we've got a sky tumblestone, 20 of them, holy moly. Ursa Luna gives a lot of items actually. So if you don't mind being a little bit slower, I would recommend riding on his back because you never know exactly what you might find. And I've heard that you can actually find some really rare items, including the item that you actually need in order to evolve your own Ursa Luna, or rather Ursa Ring into it. I don't even know if I'm going the right way, by the way. Oh yeah, I'm going literally the completely opposite way of where we're supposed to. Actually, we might as well teleport to the Diamond Settlement, except we can't because some Pokemon seems to be angered at us. But that's okay, because I think I just spotted a Roselia over here, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, and someone actually wanted us to fill the Pokedex entry for Roselia as one of the requests. So let's see if we can catch it without having to... Oh, that's the wrong thing. Uh, let me go into my Great Balls, see if we can get a nice... What the frick? It hit the rock! What? Are you kidding me? All right, come on, bro. What was that all about? At least we got you unaware. Hopefully it doesn't run away. I also don't want to accidentally kill it. Oh, right through the ruins. Yeah, that's what I like to see, Gohan. It's still unaware. Just please don't run, dude. Please don't run after I use another Swift. Obviously, we're not going to complete the dex entry just from... Okay, that's a bit of a weird camera angle. Probably because we were like in between a ruin or like this building right here. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, a bit rough. But I think I saw a glowing little patch of whatever these are called over here, which means it's going to have rarer items. So let's grab that and keep uh, going this way. I don't think we've actually explored over here. Oh my god, another Roselia. I should have checked its Pokedex to see what exactly we need. But oh, did I just see that right? Our Staravia is ready to evolve. Our Alpha Staravia. Hell yeah, let's do that right now. I think it'll be quite a good help against the next noble Pokemon, at least if I think it's uh, what it what I think it is, <laughs> which is Hisuian Lilligant. Staraptor would definitely be a good option to take that down with, at least if it's still a grass type. I don't know why we don't have a... Oh, there is a quest marker. I'm just blind apparently. So now from the diamond settlement, we should be able to get there a lot quicker. I'm just going to ignore all these guys because we actually explored this area in the last episode. So check it out if you haven't. Make sure you're keeping up with all the episodes so you follow the lore of Munching Orange. I say that, but it's kind of true. Like, I feel that we're making our own lore for this region. What with my theories for Professor Laventon. And yo, is that a freaking Alpha Roserade? You think I'm afraid of you, Roserade? You can't see me behind this tree? Let's go! We didn't catch it unaware, but... Oh my god, it's level 50. We're so dead, aren't we? Poison jab, why? No, Gohan! Uh, I think someone actually told me that you can see the level of an alpha Pokemon before you battle it. Oh yeah, you have to focus though. And then in the bottom left corner there, you can see it's level 50 and it's in red too. So that's how you know we should not be fighting this thing. That sucks for Gohan though. I mean, I kind of need him to fight the Lilligant with, so... Uh, Let's hope there's something we can heal with around here. Actually, I think we have some revives. Is this really a dead end? 
Feels like there should be something in this little lake, but I guess not. So on we go. It's Autumn Mon. Yeah, I don't feel like going all the way back to heal. So let's just do it right now from the menu. I've never used a revive yet, and I like always forget to use my potions too. So might as well make good use of the items that we've gotten. And now go talk to the clan leader. So you've come. I take it that means you're ready. Of course. At least I hope so. Lady Lilligan's a sight to see, even in her frenzy. Behold her and be grateful. I hope we didn't keep you waiting. Oh, I guess a Rezu's ankle's better now. All it took was one of my poultices to get a Rezu's leg all patched up. Kalaba, ma'am. I am deeply sorry we had to lean on your help so much, especially as we're from different clans. She's so small. A Rezu tried to solve the whole situation herself. I dare say she bit off more than she could chew and caused some trouble, but her heart was in the right place. And that's what matters at the end of the day. Listen, the Lady of the Ridge, Lilligant, is like a dancer, always in motion, always darting about. You'll want to watch her real close and learn how to dodge her moves. Ooh. That's right. If you keep on dodging, she might get tired out, and that'll be your opening. That's when you can bring out your own Pokemon and prove your might. Don't let me down. So we actually have to fight it this time, because I was a little disappointed that Cleavor didn't even give us a chance to fight it. Apparently, he had to like knock it into a wall and then it would like get dazed or stunned and you could actually fight it, but whoa, I can't believe what's about to happen. The first Hisuian form. Well, technically we saw another one already. I'm not counting Ursaluna either, but this is the new Lilligant. What? That's so cool. It really is a dancer. Is it grass and flying type? I have no idea. The Lady of the Ridge is what we'll call her. Or Lilligant, I guess. As we get into our second noble battle. Oh, and they're making sure to teach you about dodging. That means it's going to get intense. Wait, when did we get the balls for this? Whoa, what the heck? All right, let's actually watch her movements like they said. And, oh, she's doing a little pirouette, and I already got hit. Oh, my God. I'm, like, stunned. All right. Well, I guess while she's got those little musical notes, she doesn't attack just yet. And then once she lands... Oh, she does it twice. Whoa. I got to dodge, like, right on time. All right, let's just wait. And as she jumps, we dodge. And another time. All right, we got this down. Easy peasy. All we need to do is uh, hit her enough times that uh, we'll be able to bring out our Pokemon. At least I really hope, dude. Oh, whoa! She switched it up three times. Whoa, four! Send in a Pokemon to do battle. Oh, let's go, Gohan! Wait, what? We were too late. Come on, get stunned again. I want to actually fight this thing. I don't want to just throw bombs the whole time. Yo, what is that? Oh my god, what? We can dodge through those too? Whoa! I did not realize we were going to be able to dodge that. Alright, so this should be the jumping attack coming three times. Because you saw three musical notes pop up. So a one. A super powered one. Whoa, never mind. She just keeps switching it up on us, bro. <laughs> we're like dodging into her now. Alright, let's see if uh, we can get her stunned. Come on, we got like halfway through the HP bar. Please get stunned already. I want to fight you. I want to know what type you are. Guess it doesn't want to fight us, though. I'm pretty good at these dodging things, though. Like I said, I played a lot of Dark Souls in my life. And that game is basically, like, 50% dodging. Oh, there we go. Is she stunned? What? What is happening? I thought that was her being stunned. Like, when she throws a little fit. Oh, my God. Okay. Now she's ready. Gohan! It's time! Show us... I thought that said dance, but it said, here's your chance. Looking at the turn order, ah, we can do an agile style ember and then get to hit it twice in a row. Now this Lilligant is at level 30, so not too bad compared to like the level 50 Roserade that we were just trying to handle. I think another flame wheel will probably do it. Let's see. Yeah, that sucks. I mean, sucks for you because now I get to just super bomb you. 
We have no fear. We're just gonna keep spamming these. Come on. Literally no fear. Okay, maybe now I'm a little scared. Oh, here it comes. And another one. And one more. Nope. You're done for. Lilligant is down. Or should I say, calm. Throw that bomb. And the noble Pokemon is calm. I think that was the catchphrase I said last time. Now it shows its true colors. That looks so awesome. I love Hisuian forms, dude. Lady Lilligant, what type are you? There's no way it's Grass Fairy. And we get another one of Arceus Plates. I think that's four now in total. A stone imbued with the essence of plants. So obviously it's still Grass type. But what's your secondary typing? Hey, thank you. You didn't just save Lilligant. You saved a Rezu as well, and I appreciate it. First Ursaluna and now Lilligant? You're amazing, you know that? Being all frenzy didn't suit Lilligant one bit. I was so happy to see your graceful self again. Aww. If only we could just catch this one. A Rezu, you still owe someone an apology. Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. A young one like her is bound to get caught up in some trouble from time to time. Remember what's written in the Silesian ruins? All lives touch other lives. To create something anew and alive. Is Arezu? No. Don't try to solve everything by yourself, Arezu. You're a warden. Of all people, we should know how to stand in solidarity with others. It's our job to stand side by side with Pokemon, after all. Yes, I know. I'm sorry. Well, I can hardly start yelling at you now after Kalaba wrapped all that up so nicely. Just one more thing. I know you were trying to do what you thought was right, and I approve of that. But from now on, do it without keeping things from me. Agreed? Other than that, no need to change a thing. Except maybe put on some training. If anything else happens to Lilligant, I need you ready to protect her like the warden you are. I understand. Damn, Arezu getting called out. Let's work together from now on to keep the Mirelands safe, Arezu. I'll be sure to inform Irida that both the Diamond Clan and Galaxy Team help save Ursa Luna. You did well, Orenji. All our different groups finally joined hands to work together today. I admit it was a fun day for me, but now it's about time I be on my way. Listen, you know me. I'm Ottoman, leader of the Diamond Clan, and I worship Almighty Sinnoh, the ruler of time. Time is all about change, and we can't live in fear of that. We can only try to help the time we live in change for the better. Some tells me helping you folks out will help me do that. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for everything, Orenji. I think I'll stay and talk to Lilligan for a while. What happened? How did kind-hearted Pokemon like you end up all frenzied, huh? Though it's not like I'm perfect, I hit things and lied and couldn't even keep you safe. I'm real sorry about everything. Liddy. I think Lilligant understands. But seriously, Arezu, you better watch out. Lady Kalaba said, you know, you can get a little reckless, but don't get too reckless. <laughs> Speaking of reckless, let's jump right off this hill! Oh, wait, what? Oh, we're fine. What the heck? Why did I think we were gonna die? <laughs> Anyway, uh, that was pretty cool. The way that Kalaba kind of brought the clans together as an older figure it kind of makes sense. I think maybe in the future, if there's more like feuds between the Diamond and Pearl clans and it's someone younger, that it's not going to go so smoothly. And is that a Roserade or? Oh, no, it's Carnivine. OK, but now that we got that done, I guess we got to head back to camp. I'll do a little bit more exploring and maybe catching before we do, and we'll head back to see what's going on. I guess this is what's going on. Volo sneaking up on us again. You real wonder. I saw light disappearing into the space-time rift. Quelled another frenzied Pokemon, have ya? We still don't know what's causing the lighting that frenzies this Pokemon. But you, you just go on rescuing them without even a hint of trepidation. You might even change the entire course of Hisui history here. And I definitely want to be in the good books of someone like that. Let's stay in touch, friend. Is he going to give us his phone number? I don't think that he even knows that we have a arc phone. What? 
Where did he go? Thought you wanted to be pen pals or something, Volo? What the heck, man? I'm gonna run away. Anyway, before we actually leave, I want to see if I can somehow cross over to this part over here. I mean, there's a river in the way, but I feel like there's got to be some place that Wordier can maybe jump over. And that gives me a little bit of time to speculate on how I think this game's going to play out. And if you know, no spoilers in the comments, but so far, we know that we're a time traveler for sure. I actually feel like our character might be the same character from... Pokemon Diamond and Pearl, like after we become champion, or at least, oh my god, <laughs> there's Alpha Bidoof, that's freaking funny, dude. Anyway, I'm still looking for a place where we can maybe cross over, but yeah, I feel like it might be the same character, like Dawn or Lucas from Diamond and Pearl. Maybe like a year after we become champion, we get teleported by Arceus into the past because something clearly is not right in this timeline with all the lightning triggering the frenzied Pokemon and the big old spiral over Mount Coronet. That's definitely not a good thing. So there's some timey-wimey stuff going on and uh, because we've already proven ourselves as very good at Pokemon, Arceus deems us worthy and so teleported us here to try to save the region or correct whatever catastrophe is might happen. But I think this might be the best spot for us to make it. So I'm just gonna make a mad dash and then jump right at the last second. No, I didn't even jump, but I think we might still make it actually. <gasps> Just barely, but we did it. Now we're on the other side of the stream and uh, there's a couple of satchels to pick up. Uh, let's go for the ones up here first. Two for one special on satchels. Gotta collect a lot of these if we wanna get an evolutionary stone, but where the heck is the other one at? It's apparently down lower. Oh, Budu was like, camouflaging it or I don't know maybe safe holding it safely for us there's a lot of these wispies around I feel like they'd be easier to see at night but as I mentioned I'm not going to collect those until later in the playthrough I'll just like knock them out all at once maybe make a guide it looks like this is the edge of the map what would happen if you try to go over there with Basky Legion once we can surf I'm guessing there's an invisible wall or something and it sucks that we can't really test it with uh word year well I guess he's got his own invisible walls, which is like, if we tried to go up here, yeah. Let's get our ass back home and have a nice welcome from Benny. Have you finally warmed up to me? Found her by the scent of my mochi, did ya? Of course you did. When you have my level of skill, your handiwork can be recognized from a mile away. Remember to be thankful for getting to eat such masterful mochi. Okay. You wanna like remove that headband for us so we can see who you really are, homie? I've seen a lot of different theories in the comments. I guess basically every character with green hair. Except for N. No one seems to think that this guy might be an ancestor of N. But the reason I think it's Silen is because they both like cooking. But the same thing applies to Mallow of Alola. So that's definitely my second best guess. I'm going to stick with Silen though. As for Professor Laventon, that's a bit more of a mystery. But I feel like at the end of the game, we're going to find out exactly who he is. And who the heck is Zeke? There you are! You're the one, right? The one they've all been talking about? The Survey Corps kid that's been exploring the Crimson Mines! My younger sister Wanda's in the Security Corps, you see, and she went to the Mirelands. But she never made it back! Oh no! Gotta find Wanda now. I feel like your name should be Cosmo. No? I'm counting on you! Please find Wanda! So Ursa Luna will now track her scent, I guess. All right, we'll do that later. I want to first report to, wait a minute. We got to go to Captain Kamado. I see that silly hat of yours, bro. We're going to take that off one day and figure out exactly who you are. My money is on one of the characters from Alola. Maybe Hau or perhaps even Hop from Galar, but they don't have the same eye color. I don't know, he just uh, feels like he might be a past arrival that maybe also traveled here from the future. Or he really could just be from the present, but that weird machine is giving me some timey-wimey vibes. So you successfully calmed Lilligant. Of course. Excellent. There may be well times when the Galaxy team will be forced to fight against Pokemon, but it is all for the sake of creating a new home for ourselves free from war and strife. Yeah, you keep saying that, but... I don't know why, I feel like you guys might have something more sinister going on too. 
The frenzies are induced by strange lightning, which likewise falls from that very same time rift. But you have no connection to the lightning, isn't that right? We may need to investigate the rift itself to prove your motives are beyond impugning. I, I've never seen that word. Is it even impugning? Impugn. So is he saying we have to literally go to the time rift next? I don't know if I'm ready for all that. I am ready for some piping hot potato mochi though, fresh from the stove. Oh man, I'm kind of hungry now, actually. Now this is the life, eh? Enjoying tasty potato mochi with friends, sharing the latest findings from our research, and topping it all off with a good night's sleep. Truly, who could ask for anything more? I don't disagree, yet I keep doing the same thing day after day. Is it really getting us anywhere? With our research or with carving out a life here? Jeez. Talk about seeing the glass half empty. Well, here's a flashy new recipe to try. It's for an item that should help scatter these gloomy thoughts. Aw. It's okay, Don. I mean, Takari. The heck is a scatterbang, though? Come now, don't worry yourself so, my girl. Hey, I'm your boy. Don't be calling her your girl now. We don't want the, the sibling thing going. As a wise man once said, trust in yourself and you will find your way. These words are worth taking to heart. As long as we truly believe in ourselves, I'm sure we'll even complete that Pokedex of ours. Someday. I just want that hat to come off already. The next day. Tanjiro, ready for some more adventures. I love how we're like, dressed like Tanjiro, whose last name is also Kamado. And now we've got Captain Kamado. Oh, it's not Hikari waking us up this time. It's a Rezu. Hey, we finally get more haircuts. You'll never guess what. I'm going to start working as the hairdresser's shop. Nice. Now you'll be able to try out my own original hairstyles. Yeah, that is pretty exciting. I'm still going to be a little against Warden and all. I'll be burning the candle at both ends, but I can make it work. Don't worry. Just a part-time job, right? Minimum wage or maybe no wage. Anyway, come on over to the hairdresser. I'll give you a killer hairstyle. As long as it's not some ridiculous Team Galactic bowl cut. I'm pleased you found a worthy successor to your establishment, Edith. Damn, Kamado comes out of the quarters. Sir, uh, so about that whole Ursaluna situation? If you're to work here in Jubilee Village, your family to us, no matter who you are or where you're from, you're welcome, Arezu. And you, you'll come with me. Oh, geez, we're the one in trouble. To Prelude Beach? What are we going to do there? Whoa, I never noticed his jacket. Looks kind of modern in a way. What the heck? Are we celebrating? That's a new kind of merchant right there. These people have just arrived here in Hisui. They will live together with us in Jubilee Village. Is there enough room for all those? Don't seem like there's that many houses in the village. When we of the Galaxy Team first arrived, we came ashore on Prelude Beach. It is where everything began. This is where a new life for all of you will begin as well. Where are they coming from though? We've heard that the Hisui region is inhabited by many wonderful and frightening Pokemon. But we've also heard the Galaxy Team knows a great deal about Pokemon and uses their mysterious powers to help Jubilife grow. Indeed, you both heard correctly. And the reason such tales have reached your ears is largely thanks to Orenji here, one of our Survey Corps recruits. Through the combined efforts of all our team members, let us continue to develop our village and thrive here in the Hisui region. So are you going to tell us where you're from? Come on. I'm sure they came from some other region. Maybe it's like when uh, the settlers first came to America. The advancement of our understanding of Pokemon, thanks to the Survey Corps, has expanded the areas where we can operate safely. That is what allows us to welcome in newcomers like them. Orenji, you truly love Pokemon, don't ya? How'd you know? <laughs> Pokemon have done grave injury to many of our fellas in the Galaxy Team. Yet you still find love for these creatures in your heart. I suppose that is a necessary quality for one in the Survey Corps. Remember this though, Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It is imperative that we study them and learn all that we can about them, whether we wish to live alongside them or not. 
I knew there was something sinister going on with Kamado. Be warned, as the leader of the galaxy team, I'm prepared to make harsh decisions in order to protect the village. Are you going to kill a Pokemon or what? Commander, Irda from the Pearl Clans arrived. Good. I believe I know what she's here about. As for you, you should see yourself how Jubilife Village is changing thanks to the Survey Corps' efforts. Then you will come to my office. Jeez, dude. Quit acting like the principal. I mean, I know you're the boss, but I don't know. I'm getting like naughty student vibes and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, dang. We got so many new requests in the village. Is that what the guy meant by like us expanding wow i don't know if i'm ready to take all these on right now i feel like most of them are going to be kind of worthless too like the rewards i mean so i don't know i will for sure at least check out those hairstyles and this may be fancy buying a sweet treat okay exp candies nice they're kind of expensive though but that's to be expected i mean it's exp candy oh jeez, everybody needs our help but we're here for something more important. Time to get a haircut. Yes. <laughs> At least they're not like upcharging. Wait, I said she was working for free, but they charge us for haircuts. Does that mean they're splitting the profits now? I don't think Arezu really cares about the money though. Like she just bored. I mean, what? There's only one new haircut. Unless, oh wait, this is new too. I don't really like either of those all that much. Like, I want some crazy anime hair, bro. Like, the best that we've got is either this or the braids. But I feel like with either of them, don't really fit my style. We got a lot of new colors, though. Oh, we can go blue and crimson. Ooh, I like that. That's a little bit closer to Tanjiro, actually. Maybe even with the ponytail. Didn't Tanjiro have, like, long hair at the start? We'll go with it for a little bit. It's not going to be, like, permanent. Let's see what's up with Anti, or Anthe. I'm just going to call her Anti. There's a Pokemon I think would be perfect inspiration for new designs. It's a species called Shellos. Ooh, I think I've actually got a Shellos. Oh, but she wants both forms. Dang it. Cobalt Coastlands. I guess that's going to be the next area we're going to be exploring. And we'll be able to catch ourselves a new Shellos there. Oh, does that mean we're getting Basque Legion next? That's what I'm guessing, but fine. I can't just ignore you guys with all your requests. Hello, you've arrived in the nick of time. I'm afraid Ta Hua's refusing to do business again, bro. Come on, we already been through this. We want pod pods now, which I'm guessing we won't be able to get until the next area either. Pop pods, I mean. As long as they're not Tide Pods, we don't do that kind of thing here. Hey, what's that Pokemon up there? What's its name? What's it do? Who? Up on the roof? Oh. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah, that's Mr. Splashy. Does that mean it can fly? I mean... There's another request here at the farm. Do we get to expand it even more? Yo, what happened to my harvest, bro? Great timing. We're done gathering. Oh. The crops turned out real nice, just as planned. Here, these are yours for the capin'. 32 apricorns, hell yeah. I need a lot of apricorns, actually. I've been uh, kind of not running into very many, or at least not uh, sending my Pokemon to hit the trees. So let's uh, do another apricorn harvest. We don't need those spoiled ones, dude. Uh, this guy also has a request. Miller, nice meeting you again. I want to make the fields even bigger, see? But we don't have enough helpers. If you'd lend us one of your water Pokemon, we'd be mighty grateful. Okay, you need another helper? I got plenty of those, actually. Oh, wait, Gumi? That's not a water type. What the frick? I can give you one of my million Buizels. That seems a little bit more fitting. Oh, man, we should have done this before talking to Gardenia Dad. Now, finally, we got a request up here near the corner of the village. What is this man staring at over there? What a remarkable tale that was. The Pokemon it belonged to must have been a wee little thing hiding behind some rocks when I found it with naught but its tail poking out. But it was a tail I'd give anything to see again. Is it Apom? Its tail was elegant and swirly like a spring. Come show it to me after you catch it and I'll give you... Oh, it's a Glammeow. Yeah, we have not seen a Glammeow yet. I'm guessing again, all of these requests are for like the next area coming up, which, you know, we're not there yet. So we can't quite complete them. Um, but there's another request in one of these houses, actually. 
this one right here. This better be the last one, I swear. I need some help making friends with this Eevee. Ooh. As long as you don't want to take my Eevee. Kanala, my granddaughter, brought the little guy home with her the other day. And I want us to be on good terms. I can help you with that. Tell me what you need. Three stalks of hardy grains, two huckleberries, and a raspberry. I think I might actually have all of those. Maybe not like on me right now. Oh yeah, we need the raspberry from uh, the storage. Dang it. So the grit gravel can only be used if the effort level is at least three and no greater than five. Which I know that Charlie has a couple of things at level three. Do we want to keep raising our attack though? I don't know, but that's what I'm going to keep doing. Just so Charlie's super beefed up. All right, I got your berries, bro. Now what are we going to do about this little Eevee? Wonderful! What is he doing right now? Some chemistry? All done! Let's have a taste before giving one to Eevee, shall we? I don't know about that. A hometown muffin? Okay, never mind. I'm down for a muffin, dog. A baked treat made from berries. Often eaten in Galler. Munch munch! Hey, that's my name. I guess that's a fine taste, but it's not the same as the muffins from my hometown. I remember them being more moist and having this nice delicate flavor. Sorry to waste your time after all the trouble. But I'm afraid these mediocre muffins won't be enough to get me in Eevee's good books. V! Maybe it is. Do you want one? I won't stop you. Here you go. I don't think you're supposed to feed your dog human food. You like it that much? Yeah, but is it really good for it? Uh, I hope so. Because <laughs> this man's about to spoil it rotten. Thanks to you, it seems Evie and I will get on just fine. Now tell me what we get. Some Jubilife muffins and some EXP candies. That's more like it. All right, looks like we got a couple more requests here on the blackboard or just one. Krogunk's curative poison. Seems that Pestle, the captain of the medical corps, tends to make some medicine using Krogunk's poison. Ah, finally, a mission from Pestle, who is apparently not Nurse Joy's, uh ancestor, but instead Myra from Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. And you can totally tell from her very, very interesting hair. She's got the loop on one side and then just the hanging ponytail on the other. But totally thought Nurse Joy because, you know, it's like the medical core. You're here for my request about Krogunk. A member of the Diamond Clan told me that they make medicine by diluting Krogunk's poison. Medicine made from Kogunk's poison can apparently relieve pain in the lower back. Oh, sounds like I need that. I'd love to have some gift to Buck. The poor gentleman's bedridden from back pain. I know how to make the medicine, so all I need is some help getting my hands on Krogunk poison. Buck, you say? That's another one of the stat trainers. Before we go over there, though, uh, apparently there's something else down here. Risa? That nostalgic and unmistakable fragrance, if only I could smell it again. I wonder if the herbs from my home region could be found here in Hisui as well. Oh, you're part of the Survey Corps. Maybe you've seen what I'm looking for. It's an herb that looks like a bluish vine. I've heard it clings to a specific Pokemon. Please let me know if you manage to catch a Pokemon that has herbs that look like blue vines. Oh, so Tangela. Alright, so there's two main requests you gotta do here in the Mire Lens. Oh, apparently three, because we got to ride on Ursaluna and locate Wanda, too. I forgot about that. But the other one is to catch a Tangela. And then, oh, apparently we just had to show her a Krogunk. I already have one of those. So I guess all we got to do is, wait, did I just see that right? There's another request right over this way. Oh, literally right here. Where could I have dropped it? Oh, gosh. Is it another Ursaluna sniffing thing? Could you lend me a hand? I was on my way here from the Mirelands when this Alpha Hippowdon came after me. I got away, but I dropped the charm I was carrying. Now I can't find it! If you find a charm laying in the swamp, could you bring it back? Alright, fine. The guy said he was being chased by an Alpha Hippowdon. That's it right there. Oh, there's something glowing in the water. That's gotta be the charm. Come on, just... Oh, oh god! Oh! That was terrifying. What the heck? We actually have to fight it? No! Please, no. Please at least be low level. Oh, God. We have Monferno leading, too, don't we? Gohan? No, dude. You can't do this. Please. 
Okay, it's level 34. Not terrible compared to some other alphas we fought. But yeah, we definitely cannot handle it with Gohan. So, Charlie, hopefully you don't get bulldozed in one shot like we always seem to. Oh, nice. We actually get to move first. And with a Aqua Jet, what? We don't even get to strike again? All right, maybe if uh do Agile Swords Dance? We're still going to take a hit, but I'm pretty sure we can survive one hit from on unless it's like Earthquake or something. That would suck. And it's going to be Mud Bomb. Yeah, Charlie took a lot, but we're fine. We're Gucci. Uh, please tell me that we hit this strong style Aqua Jet. And we miss. Of course. Now we're dead. Gosh, freaking. <sighs> Wait, actually, we haven't used our Star Raptor yet, even though I was flexing about the fact that it evolved so early. That cry is kind of different, isn't it? Whoa, this thing is so huge. Alpha versus Alpha. Or wait, this hip is not even an Alpha. That dude totally lied. All right, let's go for a strong style Air Slash then. How powerful Star Raptor? What the frick? You're still... Ah, oh, why is that a thing? I can't even hit it. And now Hippowdon, okay, now it's no longer obscure. So we should actually be able to hit it. That was so annoying, dude. Freaking this game. <laughs> I know, actually. Let's revive Charlie and see if maybe, oh, well, Star Raptor might just be able to handle it itself. But I want Charlie to get experience, man. I don't know. I feel bad. And especially because I don't think I'm going to keep this Star Raptor forever. But maybe because we revive Charlie, it still gets XP. Nice. There we go. Still hitting that level 30 and Eevee at 24. You sure are something taking on a big angry Hippowdon like that. Oh yeah. What's that line over there? You mean the charm? Yeah, that's what we came here for. Means a lot to me that you went toe to toe with that Hippowdon just for me. You better believe I won't be losing this charm again. Not after what you went through all that trouble to get it back. Yeah, you better give me something good for this. Grit gravel, eh, I'll take it. Or not, because we have no storage room. Oh god! Ah! Why? What is happening? Ah! Jeez! Please! I can't even get away! Oh my goodness. Alright. Man, I still feel like we can make that. Oh! Yo, we actually can! Oh my gosh, there's the tank road. Okay, not exactly the one I'm looking for. And now that we know, we can... Uh, what? I can't even target it. Because it's too far, I guess? I don't know what level you are, bro. Come on, there we go. 45, yeah, uh, how about no? Actually, we could fight it with Star Raptor, but I think I just need a regular old Tangela, not a Tangrowth. I mean, if it turns around like that, then yeah, I'll catch it unaware real quick. Let's do it. Maybe this will be the second alpha Pokemon that we catch. We won't even be able to actually use it because I think we can only use up to level 40 Pokemon right now, or, you know, they'll obey us fully. But, yeah, we can still try to catch it at least. It's stunned from the unawareness, which means we should have just gone for strong style the first turn, too. Oh, this might actually kill it. Hold up. Did I? Yeah, I, uh, <laughs> might have messed up there. And, of course, we don't have room for a seat of mastery. Okay, we gotta make room for this. Hold up. I don't think we've ever gotten one of those. And grit gravel, too, that we can't pick up. Dude, come on. What else can I get rid of here? I guess we got a bunch of apricorns, so maybe we should like actually craft some more pokeballs. Please tell me you eat berries. Oh, okay, nice. And catch it unaware real quick. What the frick? That pokeball flew right over it. Come on, just catch. Please? Nice! Got a Tangela! Is that all we need for that research task? I'm actually not sure. Oh, we got the blue sniff sniff from Ursa Luna, and there was a bridge here all along. What the heck? Oh wait, no, this is something totally different. Oh god, this bridge is narrow. Oh, I'm a little scared. I don't think we've been over here. Or maybe we did? Is this where the Roselia was? Maybe? I don't even know. I'm just following the scent now. Oh, what? There was a Ralts. Did it teleport away? No, it's still... Uh, no, it's gone. And so is the Sniff. This way? Which way? Oh, you're Wanda? What the frick? What are you doing here, lady? A person, another real live human being, thank goodness! I was on my way back to the base camp when I was attacked by some wild Pokemon. I managed to get away, but I got completely lost when I was running. And, uh, please, can you tell me how to get back home? 
Just get on my Star Raptor. It'll carry you right over there. Don't worry. <laughs> what is that? I mean, this way, of course. I knew you meant... Oh, God. Are we going to have to escort her? This lady's going to get lost again, isn't she? All right. Now, let's report our findings back to the team. Or, I guess, the people that needed them. I'm pretty sure this is the lady that wanted uh, Tangela. Or was it Crow Gunk? Oh, no. Yeah, it was definitely Tangela. Here you go. Don't know if she wants to keep it, but just look at it! <laughs> this aroma! This scent! Yes, these are the herbs of my home! <laughs> oh, man. Tangle is so funny looking. Why do it got blue shoes? I mean, red shoes. Obviously, it's blue. But that's some nice rewards from that. Uh, well, I don't know about the smoke bombs. I've never used one. But the EXP candies are much appreciated. I have an idea. If I lived with a Pokemon like you, I'd be able to enjoy this aroma every day. So you want to keep it? Wait, did she? Just take it? I don't even know. Also, what's up with you? You're new. Oh, never mind. I thought he might actually have some stuff to sell. But uh, I think up here was the other dude who was looking for his sister. And uh, yeah, there she is. Wanda made it back home safe. I'm very surprised. But I wouldn't be surprised if later in the game she gets lost again. Like maybe that's a thing in every area. Wanda gets lost and you gotta find her. Yeah, we gotta keep an eye on her. Yep. She's definitely gonna get lost again. Now give me my reward, bro. Stardust. I gotta sell all those. I have a lot actually. Now I do believe we have a crow gunk to turn in, which we could have done like way earlier because I've been had a crow gunk. So this is crow gunk. Got a charming little face, hasn't it? Uh, if you say so. I need a smidgen of your poison, please. Would you be so kind? Anyone remember uh, Brock's crow gunk in the anime? Wouldn't it always like slap him because he was too much of a simp? You've already got my heart in custody. There we have it. This ought to be super effective. I like the reference there. Pokemon come to our aid in surprising ways, don't they? I bet we'd be able to help an even greater range of people if we could set up some kind of aid facility where Pokemon work side by side. You mean a Pokemon Center. Of course, we'll need to learn much more about Pokemon if that's ever to happen. I'm starting to think the Survey Corps work will help us in ways people aren't even aware of. Pestle, my poor back, I'm screaming! <laughs> Is this really Buck? Like the same Buck from Diamond and Pearl? I gotta know! Well, maybe we can know if we like... What the frick? That's just some random old man. Now, there's one last request here in the Galaxy Hall. We gotta get that medicine for the headache Psyducks. And I guess this lady's the one that can help us with it. You came to the right person! Secret medicine! Oh! She just gives it to us. That's very nice of you. Okay. From Cyanwood City. Wow, that exists even back in the good old days? As you'll see, it works wonders. Give it to any ailing Pokemon and they'll soon be right as rain. Even a Psyduck's headache will clear right up, I'm sure. I wonder if this will have anything to do with the unknown here in the settlement. The Psyduck looked better already. What a relief. Thanks for finding these. You know, I was a little nervous about the Galaxy team, but if you're the sort of folk that are kind enough to help total strangers, I guess I had no reason to worry. Yeah. Now, why don't you help me with uh, maybe a little hint? Or unknown, or I guess a max revive. Is that really all we get? Okay, that was... Oh wait, now this building is unlocked. There's gotta be something important in here, dude. Like, there's no way all those Psyducks were blocking it for no reason. Right? Oh, there's people. Young Ottoman is in a tricky position. Oh my, yes. He's never seen nor heard all mighty Sinnoh, yet we rely on him to lead. I wonder, is he truly up to the task? That's it? Just gonna trash talk, Quinn. Oh my god, the Psyducks sleeping up on the bunk bed. Alright, it was all worth it. This made it worth it. 